Oh, we have an insta kill. Wait, that actually might be huge. We won't be able to see it easier. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that will never get old. So this mod is called Nocturne and Totem Revamped. As you can see on the menu, we've got like this weird looking cool zombie. Changes the font of everything. We've got a little double shotgun icon over here as well, which is nice. We've got custom game options, so we can actually choose like anything we want, which is kind of sick. Start on whatever round we want, it looks like. Hell, I could make it into minuscule health. Um, I assume that means like realistic mode for Black Ops 4. We can make the zombies wear a duck float. Oh, that's kind of funny. Okay. I'll put the zombie counter wrong. All right, here we go. So as you can see, we have like the World War II zombies HUD or UI, I guess, which is pretty sick because I always thought it was quite clean. We've got the cult. M 1911 as well. Uh, whoa, these zombies are like, ew, you see this movement? I swear they never used to do this. So yeah, they should be pretty creepy. We've got like a question mark. Oh, it's a car 98K on the wall. So yeah, it revamped all of the World War II weapons. Okay, nice one hit knife, easy peasy. We've got a zombie counter on the top left, which is good. I really like the knife sound effect. It actually sounds clean. Shame the zombies take 20 years to spawn in. Whoa, the cha-ching sound, okay. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Okay, I like that. Oh, here we go. I was going to say the zombie's taking 20 years, but yeah, the knife sound. Just, oh, crisp. Like, listen to this. Oh, okay. Last one's over here, creeping around. Yeah, this map feels incredibly ominous. Like, obviously, you know, it's Nactar and Toten. It's the most basic map possible. I'm going to instantly go ahead and open this door. We've got the mystery box right here, of course. So it's basically turned into the World at War version, but like revamped and better. We have a double barreled shotgun on the wall. Then we've got the Thompson, my favorite. Let's go. Got this STG. I wonder if it has World War II weapons, like from World War II Zombies, the 2017 game or whatever it was. This feels pretty crisp though also i want to say a quick thank you for 6,000 subscribers i mean fucking christ i don't even like we're growing so fast but i can't even keep up with how fast it's going up but hey seriously thank you and all the support on the recent videos has just been insane i'm super excited to make more videos in the future so God, what was that noise? That was like a... Whoa. We aren't going to get bosses on this map, are we? I see it has a little, like, jug symbol on the bottom left. Does that mean we have, like, a power-up of some kind? I'm assuming we don't. Oh, God, they're running. Oh, shit. Yeah, I assume these are, like, the, the Cobb World War II... Uh, whoa, max ammo? That's a cool little animation. What the fuck? Like, custom power-ups? Now, I wonder if there's perks on this map. I assume not. You know, we shouldn't really get perks on Nact. It's kind of sacrilegious, but who knows? I'm hoping this mod creator, which, by the way, the mod will be linked in the description below. But I really hope they do, like, other maps as well, because this is cool as hell. Whoa, is it a two-hit? Uh, let's see. How much damage does it do? Oh, oh no. It's, I think it's a three. Hard to tell. They look like less than half. Screw it, though. Let's go buy this mystery box. There could be... Oh, my God. Dude, just look at this. The Bren? Okay, yeah, so it is the World War II weapons. The mystery box just looks clean as hell. I mean, screw it. We'll go for another spin then, I guess. Uh, the M1 carbine. I think I'll kindly pass on that. Hey, this box luck is already better than my World at War zombies fucking box luck, though. I wonder if there's like a Pack-a-Punch Easter egg on this map somewhere. There could be. Who knows? Because if you guys ever played World War II zombies and you played the map Groston House, it was like, it's basically Nactar and Toten, but on that game. Whoa, like, see, look at that, like, the smoke thing, and then the nuke. Oh my god. I'm a big fan. I like these. Map creator clearly put in a lot of effort. I mean, but you have to actually have Nactar and Tone remastered from Zombies Chronicles to be able to play this. Okay, so we've got a war weapon up here, which is the, the, oh, grenades. Okay, no wonder fizz. A bar on the wall, and then what's in here? Uh, wait, no, there's like a cabinet around here somewhere, right? Scoped car 98k. Okay, so it is the OG trench gun on the wall as well. Yeah, so it's everything from the original, like, World at War version, I guess. Well, I guess it'll be Mystery Box Gaming for a while then, because there's not really too much else, uh, to do. There are a bunch more cheats and stuff you can put on, like, bonus settings. I just want to experience, like, the mod in itself, you know? And this feels clean. Oh, we've got seven zombies left. Uh, we've almost run out of ammo, which isn't too good. Oh, here we go. We've got a double points. Right at the end of the round. My classic favorite moment. Like, bro, look at the little, like, fire and stuff on the power up. That's so sick. Also, where the hell these zombies are? Um, are we just, like, stuck around the corner? Why is it with zombies and me just, like, they fucking disappear. They don't want to play the game, apparently. Here we go. Right, mystery box spin again. The lighting on this box is fucking insane. You see the ray gun in there as well? Oh my god, I need to get that. Just look at it. Oh, the flamethrower. Oh, if you've been watching my videos recently, you know I absolutely love this. Ooh, okay. See, the flamethrower could have been on Knack Remastered. So I can respect the, uh, the map creators for adding it in. 
even if it is kind of doo-doo, like it <laughs> took that long to kill one zombie, but it's fine. Let's see, if you hold it down, no, it doesn't make a difference. I wonder if it has like only 24 zombies per round. Oh, it must not because we're on round six and there's already like 24. So try training them all up and see if the flamethrower can do anything. Ah, like, oh my, Ooh, run, run, run. It slows you down so much holding this though. Okay, they're like not even dying. This is, <laughs> come on flamethrower, I know you can do it. Ow, owie, ow, my god, that was close. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to use the Bren because it just doesn't, okay, never mind. We'll switch back, boom. Okay, we're killing very, very, very slowly. Yeah, let's just go, let's just go with this because apparently it's taking too long. Got a nice insta-kill. I mean, we could use that in a second. Nact is so scary. Dude, what is it with getting the M1 carbine? Holy shit. Oh, this is the uh, the Mosin Nagant. Oh, my favorite of all time. It's fine. We've got an insta-kill. We're actually a little bit safe for once. What's this? A Type 100. Okay, I'll take it. I just want to stick on like a full auto weapon, to be honest. Playing Nact is terrifying because literally the second that your weapons stop dealing damage, you're just screwed. The only wonder weapon on this map is the Reagan, I believe. Apparently, it's like slightly bugged according to what someone said, but we'll see. I mean, I kind of want to give it a try. Ow, with the headless zombie slapping me, bro. Can we not? We got Carpenter, sure. I mean, it's actually kind of useful on this map. All right, one zombie left. Well, spin time. Ooh, we got the Browning. I mean, you know, this gun is kind of a beast, even if it does fire pretty slowly. I'm going to have to swap out the flamethrower because it's just kind of ass. What do we get? An M1 Garand. Oh, sick. My favorite gun in the whole game. M1 Carbine. Bro, can we not be doing this? Okay, maybe the box look is just like World of War. It's a perfect remake because it's captured the whole thing. Oh, and the M1 Garand. Oh my God. It's just, it's the same thing over and over again, bro. I can't escape it. <laughs> We get a Springfield. I don't know what's worse. Fine, we, we still have the Browning. We're good. Is the M1 Garand even decent? Like, okay, barely. It's got a nice ping sound at least. Like, oh, that is nasty. Okay, that's kind of satisfying to listen to. Oh, shit. Okay, enough of the uh, the M1 Garand flexing. I'm gonna have to just pew, 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 pew. Ow, can we not? Double points. Oh my God. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're chilling. Ooh, fire, 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 fire. We're gonna have to just go and get this nuke. Jesus, bro. Come on, something decent. You know, the MP40, I'll take it. I always like the uh, the World War II MP40, although this could be the... I mean, it's Sledgehammer game, so it's the same thing anyway, but it could be the Advanced Warfare version. I mean, I kind of just want to buy the Thompson, but I get it on every single World at War map, so, you know, I'm trying to, like... Increase the variety, I guess, of the guns. We're only on round nine, bro. Oh my god. Does not feel like that. Can we die, please? There we go. I highly suggest giving this map a go because if you're interested in like World War II and just the whole aesthetic of the original World of War zombies, then this is definitely going to appeal to you because there is nothing like this on the Steam Workshop right now, I don't believe. It's only released like a week and a half or two weeks ago and you could just feel the soul and the, the I don't know. Oh my God, Max Ammo even reloads your weapon. Yeah, it's the best mod out there. <laughs> You could just feel like the effort this person put into the game. Right, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? Please, a ray gun? No, we're gonna get PTSD. Oh boy, this gun again. Oh no. The Panzer Shrek. Oh, sick dude. Just even worse than what I had before. I guess I'm back to the carbine. Fucking hell. Oh, and now we got the M1 gra J Bruh, bruh. Like, am I gonna have to buy a Thompson just to, like temporarily keep it? Because we need a good gun. Might have to, you know? Oh, Jesus. Look at how fast these guys are sprinting. They have the World War II animations and they fucking... They do the little monkey run where they sort of spread their arms out to the left and right. Like, ugh, just look at that shit. That's actually terrifying. Good God. Oh, don't get me stuck, please. We're fine. All right, this is all of them. Just pew, 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 pew. Oh God, this is not enough firepower. Holy shit. What did we get? We got an insta-kill. Okay, that's firepower. Now we can actually... Do something, I think. Go for another spin of the box. Who knows? Get something decent. Oh, we were one up the ray gun, bro. We got the STG at least. I mean, I do like this gun. The fucking Springfield. I swapped out the MP40, whatever. I mean, I think the STG is probably a little bit better. The Type 100 again. Oh, the carbine. How many times am I going to get this goddamn gun? It's actually insane. <gasps> the ray gun. Oh my God, finally. So apparently it's like slightly bugged or something, but whoa. Okay. I like the little reticle it has. Whoa. Yeah, it's not even a one shot. Interesting. Um, whoa, uh, uh, oh, I'm dead. I just, I get the ray gun, I die. are you serious? Bro, nah, that is just, that is, that is my luck. That is, that is it. 
Anything World at War related just hates me. So before I end the video, I'm going to change the starting wave to wave 10. And it seems to be a max wave count. So if I put this to 11, if I complete round 10, does the entire game just end? I'm kind of curious. All right, let's give it a try. So we should spawn in on round. Yep, we're on round 10. We got money. Okay. Let's just instantly go for this box. Please give me something decent. Okay, we got a double barrel shotgun. You know, not bad, not bad. We could do like a two box challenge at some point, actually. That'd be kind of fun. And we got a Type 100. Okay, not bad. Thank God they're actually spawning in kind of slowly right now. A bar. You know, ugh, maybe I'll use the bar a little bit. I never gave it some love. You know, I, I, I always hated on the bar. Okay, no, it's shit. It's dog shit. It's a dog shit gun. What's this? Type 100. I'll take it. Ooh, groove out the way. Okay, we're fine. Double barrel shotgun. Not even a one shot. Okay. How is it this bad? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. Well, if we can get through this round, then I guess the game just ends. Oh, we got the STG back. That's huge. What's that? We got, oh, a carpenter. I mean, it's going to slow down for spawns, honestly, but oh God. Ooh, okay. Let's not go down on one of the easiest challenges I've ever done. All right. This is the last one. Boom. So does the game just end? Yeah, it does. What the fuck? That's sick. You can have one round challenges, like playing one round on every single game kind of thing. You can speed run the round as well because it gives you a time. Like, obviously, it took us one minute 40 to beat that whole round. This has a lot of potential for speed running in the zombies community, you know? Just for diversity with all of these settings, like, you can start on... I think the latest you can start is wave 20. So unfortunately, you can't start on, like, you know, wave 100. That'd be sick, but you can't. The max wave count you can put to whatever you want, so... You can just set it to end the game if you get to round 45, round fucking 55. I assume it goes all the way to 100. Yeah, here we go. The max wave count you can put is 100. So if you were to get round 100, it would just end the entire game. No one's going to get round 100 on that because it's going to be so goddamn difficult. But time gameplay means that the rounds just go by by themselves, I guess. So that's the only way you could realistically get round 100 on this. This is exactly what COD Zombies needs, though. Because Black Ops 4, you know, the custom mutations or whatever, it's not really the same thing, is it? We need this level of customization for zombies because this is just insane. But you can make the zombies ragdoll. I kind of want to see that real quick. But you can also set a kill cap. So if you get to like, I don't know, 100 kills, the game will just end that's so cool dude all right instantly going by the box we'll just we'll just do like a, a two box challenge for this little mini bit okay the scoped car 98k cool i just want to see the ragdolls oh a shitty pistol great you give me the two best guns in the whole game feels like i'm playing multiplayer i've got like a sniper loadout so the ragdolls huh let's see oh my god where did he go watch this just <laughs> The zombie just fucking disappeared. Let me try it with the pistol. Hey, zombie. What's up, bro? Uh, <laughs> bro bounced into the sky. What the fuck? Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> they don't even stand a chance then, apparently, because I've just got the power of fucking, like, Jesus or something. Like, where are they going? Oh, God, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not dead. Well, I need a decent gun to actually use this. Let's, uh, here we go. Tommy gun. Boom. <laughs> The bodies. It's like having permanent Thunderwall animation. Just boing, boing, boing. Oh shit. That's not boing. That's fucking death. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we have an insta kill. Wait, that actually might be huge. We won't be able to see it easier. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> that will never get old. I'm definitely putting Ragdoll on next time we play. Just boing. <laughs> And that's the round. We, we, we got slower than last time, apparently. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Consider checking out the video on your screen right now. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.